to Coyote Academy. It's not just a hobby, but a way of life. Dirk looking coyote. Don't know if you can see his foot. It's pretty broke, but I'm out here doing the landowner a favor, so I know it's I don't usually trap this late in the season, but I just uh you know, was trying to help this this landowner out. Been having some issues. This is a big 500 acre property and he just only deer hunts on it. So, and he gave me the only permission to trap. So his one condition was I took the coyotes off the property and took the beaver off the property. That's what we're doing late season. Making sure our traps are freeze proof and using the pipe set. Bend and peat moss, and uh, I was just using iodized salt. So, I've got a few other methods up my sleeves. Just, uh, just using what I had at the at the moment. But I'll show you what they what they can be further on down the line. What's going on, guys? Um, so, finished out the season. I had 61 coyotes, four fox, two bobcats. Uh, it was two red fox and two gray fox. The weather started getting pretty bad towards the end of the season. We ended up getting about uh, eight inches of snow uh, one week here in Ohio, and that's I haven't seen snow like that for years, it seems like. Um, so I kind of called it quits. Um, trapped from January 5th till um, the day before Valentine's Day. So my wife kind of put a kibosh to, to the trap. But had a lot of success, a lot of fun. I uh, learned a lot. It was um, it was a great experience for me. So I had really good weather for about two weeks. Um, I know when I was on vacation, I just seemed to be rolling, um, having success day after day. So I'm pretty happy um, considering <clears throat> the year before I'd caught 64 um, coyotes, but um, I, I did that all, all season. So pretty much all season from November 10th till January 20th, probably. Um, but you know, it's great. So moving forward, I've got some more, um, more permissions. Um, I've gained a few more properties, um, from, uh, different landowners. So stretching out the line, um, I just have to work out the logistics, kind of see how I'm going to make things work. Maybe break it up, break my trap line up into, maybe two different routes um, or just one big route if I can get uh, enough time off from work. So um, right now I'm actually getting a trapping shed built. Well, it's not going up yet, but uh, hopefully next week whenever the weather warms up um, and breaks a little bit, I will um, 
be uh, breaking ground and, and having that, that building put up. So it's going to be a 20 by 24 uh, trap shed. So I'll be able to put all my trapping equipment, um, be able to store my fur there. Right now I've been storing my fur um, at my mentor's um, place. So, you know, that will save some time instead of having to drive out there. I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to uh, store my fur at my own place. So, you know, it'll cut down on my driving time and um, definitely, definitely help me out quite a bit. So um, I'm going to be getting my traps ready, um, prepping, getting everything, you know, ready to go for the upcoming season. So there'll be a lot of uh, how-to videos or um, just, you know, me kind of tinkering around, uh, messing with a few things. Um, I do want to show you a few things that, I've, that I'm going to be putting a video together for. It's uh, just modifying these, this Duke 2, putting the positive trip pan on it, and uh, putting the rod style dog. So only thing I have to do is put, uh, you know, uh, lamination up here and spot weld that. Um, and surprise, surprise, uh, I bought some of the Bridgers, the substandard models that uh, Minnesota brand was selling. So um, I'm gonna do a comparison on the Dukes um, and uh, these Bridgers, the substandards, and then I'll even compare what the um, regular Bridgers cost and then kind of break down, um, you know, cost per individual trap when you start buying them by the dozen. Uh, I think you'll be surprised that, uh, you know, the Duke and the Bridger are both solid traps, but um, from a uh, cost effective standpoint, I think uh, you'd be better off going with uh, Duke. So that that's that's just my opinion. Um, but I mean, they're a solid trap. If uh, you look at them, they're they're all the pans are the same size, the the dogs are the same size, um, same metal. Um, so putting those new pans on, those new dogs on, you know, you're you're pretty much build an identical trap. I will say the only thing is uh, the Bridgers, their base plate, they do tack weld that um, one, which is which is nice. I think I might do that with these Dukes as well. So just tack, tack uh, weld where the, the base plate and uh, the actual frame of the trap come together. So that, that's a great idea. Um, you will have to tack weld. Uh, you'll also have to tack weld the um, tips tips of these so I hooked them already if you can tell um, but I think it would be a good idea to just give them a little uh, bubble weld uh, make sure that they don't fall out so otherwise um, you know they're both solid traps um, I, I think you couldn't go wrong buying either one but from a cost um, cost effective standpoint I think you would be better off going with um, going with the the Duke the Duke 2 square jaw um, it's a solid trap. I'll leave the, I'll leave the swivels as, as they are, um, for this season, at least for these new ones. Uh, they should, they should hold up fine. Um, but, you know, I, I always have, uh, replacement swivels, so those heavy duty swivels. <clears throat> and, um, I will say that these, uh, bridgers, the, these bridgers, they are fast. At least the ones I, I bought, they, they jump out at you, so... I do like that uh, very sturdy trap, and um, you know, can't wait to kind of put a video together and show you, you know, how I put the pans on, how I put the dogs on, and um, you know, break down a few little um, details, um, expense-wise, and then um, kind of show you what each individual one will cost you. So um, stick around. I, I think uh, I think it'll be very. Um, beneficial for you and very educational especially if you're kind of out there looking to see you know what trap you what trap you'd like what trap uh what would work best for you or or suit you so um yeah stick around and uh don't worry just pepsi so <laughs> uh, but thanks for um Kind of thanks for joining along with me. I've, I've enjoyed making these videos um, so far. It's been um, great, to be honest with you. And, um, you know, if you if you like them, subscribe and uh, like. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you uh, want to see. Uh, I'm up for suggestions and I'm up for uh, discussion. <clears throat> so 
Um, we'll see you guys down the line.